Okay. Yeah, I wanted to give you guys some more tips. I've been coming up with some pretty cool things, and I know I've had these on my other videos, but since it's been a while, put them back on here. I'm drinking my afternoon coffee. Uh, we got a gig this weekend, so I put some, uh, tried out some heavier strings. Like I said, I swear by these uh, pyramids. I'm sure, you can see that. I ordered uh, 52 on the, the Big E, and the only thing I didn't like about that set is that it came with a 20 gauge wound G which I wasn't expecting. Luckily I had some 19 plain uh, that Tone Man had sent me. Tone Man's out in California. He, he carries these. Uh, uh, he sells a lot of pyramids. But they have uh, another set I got, uh, 10 through 52. Actually, what I put on my guitar today was uh, 50 gauge. 11 through 50. 11, 14, 20, wound, 30, 42, and 50. That's what, it's a medium. Then they have a regular heavy, which is 10, 13, 17, 30, 42, 52, which I've got that set. I'm going to try that on my 57 reissue. Well, you talk about, it, it's like piano wire on there. I mean, it's easy to play. These are a little more flexible strings because of the German steel. But... Man, I mean, talk about a big sound. That was that was just the tweed basement. I got the phase the MXR phase shifter going right now. This is the super and the basement. stuff I got out of that Dan early wines uh, repair book but this rag which this is a sealed one a brand new one blitz rag I've been to a million uh, string cleaners this is the best string cleaner simple little rag with some kind of stuff on it it's been around since World War two they used to use them for all the uh, army equipment or whatever they they invented this thing for to wipe down all their parts keeps everything from corroding but it's the easiest fastest thing to wipe your strings down with afterwards and it keeps them like brand new very simple very quick I'll never use anything else blitz rag you can get them online uh, this one's starting to get a little old but they last uh, probably three four months I would say at least maybe six months now, the big trick that I wanted to show you, if everybody's got vintage amps, I've got all my vintage amps have two prong plugs, and I've been getting shocked, or I had been getting shocked, not anymore, I fixed it, but I don't have an amp tech, like I said, or no one that I trust, or I don't want to spend the money, they probably charge $40 to put a new three prong plug on it. So, all my amps are two prong, I get shocked on the mic which you know keeps me from touching the mic because I'm afraid I'm gonna light up like a Christmas tree so my old amp tech hopefully he doesn't mind me giving away a couple of his tips but here I'll show you what I did very simple go to Radio Shack get you some uh, 
wire. Uh, get you a spool of this wire like this. Let's see what gauge is this. 20, this is 20 foot of 12 gauge hookup wire, they call it. You, you just get a fairly heavy gauge. And then I got uh, Radio Shack, a couple of dollars, all these miscellaneous fittings. Right now I'm using these big yellow ones a lot. They seem to fit the wire the best. Well, they, they actually were made for each gauge wire. They get you some of these in these assorted bags here. And what you do is you just crimp one end on this, uh, on the wire, you know, strip it, crimp it on there. Uh, I do an open-ended one on the other end, and I mean, you can make these things 10, 20 feet if you need to. This one's a little big, but I, I make the other end like this, and I actually end up crimping this in around the ground prong on the on my surge. Well, actually, I do it on my uh, Carl Hartman amp preserver plug. I'll show you where that goes. Yeah, gotta take you guys off here. All right, over here in the wall is plugged in uh, the extension cord for my Carl Hartman, which you can see goes all the way over here to the Carl Hartman amp preserver. And then my uh, strip is plugged into that. But uh, this plug here, you can see that fitting and that wire coming out. <laughs> It's just crimped onto the ground prong. And when it goes into the outlet, it's a ground wire. So instead of having three prong plugs uh, uh, put on all of my amps, which is a real pain since I've got five of them, I just take that wire. It's got an alligator clip, alligator, alligator clip on the other end. I put another little fitting right here on my uh, tube retainer. I don't know if you can see that, but I put a little fitting there, that, and I kind of opened it up so I could get my al cram my alligator clip in there. And watch, watch what this thing does. Hear that? Hear that? That's it. Whoa, shoot! I'm getting sparks, man. Grounded, instant three plug, three prong plug. Your polarity switch doesn't do anything anymore. Isn't that cool? Now I usually, I tell you, I, before I put this on, I make sure the polarity is right anyway, just in case somebody were to yank this off. But man, do you, do you hear the difference? You heard the difference in the home. I mean, it makes all the difference in the world. I get absolutely no shock whatsoever. I mean, it's a cheap, cheap poor man's three prong plug. I thought you guys would appreciate that. I put one of those little fittings on every one of my amps. I actually haven't had the opportunity to make uh, or to play two amps lately but you can hook up as many as you want I mean well you know after a while you're gonna get it so thick that you won't even be able to plug it into the outlet I'm sure it'll take two but that's probably the max um, you could go ahead and put one on the on the plug that goes into the amp preserver every place you got a three prong plug you could put a wire but it's uh and you just clip it on the chassis. You got to clip it on the chassis of the amp you're trying to ground. But I thought that was a cool tip. And it may save your life, and you don't have to pay $40 to get a three prong plug put on there. So uh, I think it's all the tips I got today. Let's say we're getting ready for the Mardi Gras gig this weekend. I got this baby. Uh, I don't change strings as much as I used to anymore. I play them until I break them. But that blitz rag makes a big difference in keeping them in good shape. Uh, that's it. Have fun.